I don't know what we're doing. No, today we're going to test monitor latency. This is going to be a quick and dirty video because uh, I don't care about you guys and you guys can go home if you don't like it. No, I'm just kidding. Well, no, I'm not. But that's okay. So what we're looking at here, and you should be able to see the flicker, is a silicon graphics 19 inch monitor. So this is the sort of the gold standard of monitors as far as monitors go. But it's a VGA connection. It's analog. It's not really anything special. And it's going to come over here and it's going to connect to this, you know, 79 something on this X99 platform. And then we've got the DVI connection to our widescreen monitor. Now the only resolution these two monitors can gr agree on is 1280 by 768. And so what we're going to do is measure the latency between the two. Now CRTs have, the reason they have a flicker is because it's redrawing the screen. Now I don't see a flicker, but the camera does because the camera has a higher frame rate than my eyes. And so that should tell you something about how quickly the monitor can refresh. And what we're doing really is measuring the difference between the input latency between the CRT, which is known to be low, and this LCD. This is the crossover uh, 290M, the extra wide. So yeah, this is going to be sort of interesting. Now we've got our camera set up here. I've got my headgear on. So this is uh, a Canon 250, or it's a 250 um, uh, the shutter speed. So it can do 250 uh, shots in a second, or it's one 250th of a second for the uh, shutter speed, and a 1600 ISO, which is a little high for the 7D, but that's okay. We'll, we'll deal with it. It'll, it'll be fine. And so you can see I've got my shot set up there. And what we're going to do, there's this really awesome website, if you go to Google, do monitor lag test. There, that's what we want. Ligom.nl. I probably did not pronounce that correctly. So here's the thing. So what you do is run this and you take a picture of it with a really high shutter speed ca camera, which is what we're going to do right now. And see that picture was dark. So that means that we caught it on an off refresh because the monitor is just so fast. So we got to do it again in that case because the monitor was too fast. Oh, that one's a little dark, but you can read it 36 versus 36 that had just changed. Let's see if we can get a better shot. All right, so that's 25 versus 24 just changed to 25. Let's uh, stop that automatic focus nonsense. All right, so there's one, there's a pretty good one. So the monitor is on frame 43 while the computer was on frame 41. So, so 33 and 32 just changed to 33, 33 getting ready to be 34. Fifty-six and fifty-six. Fifty-six is just changing. Fifty-five becoming fifty-six. So the monitor is about one to two frames ahead of the LCD, which is really good considering that this is an IPS panel. So forty and forty-one. Thirty-two and thirty-two, but thirty-two was on its way out. 01, 02. You'll notice with the CRT that there's no after image. So what does that tell you? Well, it tells you that the image on the CRT goes away before uh, it has a chance to redraw the next frame, which is expected of CRTs. It's uh, a trick of your eye that the image persists on your retina for longer than it really exists on the CRT. And that's why on a CRT you really need, you know, 72, 75, 80, 90 hertz refresh. Whereas on an LCD you don't really. I mean, in some of the frames that you look at, you can see that the frame uh, on the LCD, the previous frame, is still on the screen and it's just sort of fading out. So if you have a really, really old LCD and you drug the mouse across the screen, and you saw, you know, sort of the mouse cursor trailing behind it. That was, you know, <laughs> when the LCD latency was on the order of 700 milliseconds or something crazy like that. So it's still kind of high in LCDs, 
compared to CRTs. Now this does not measure the end-to-end -end input latency. There's some latency loss in on the video card. We're not measuring that, we're just looking at the difference between a CRT, which is really best case scenario, and an LCD. So the crossover is actually doing pretty well. Let's grab the Samsung ATN panel. I'm just gonna put the 7D out of the way. Gonna grab the crossover here, gonna turn it off. Gonna grab the cable, so we've got a power cord. So I'm just gonna set that back there. Get that. Let's go over here. Grab this. I'm gonna need the power brick too. Bother. I've got this DVI cable, but I've got HDMI. Let's borrow this. Don't worry, for those of you freaking out at home, I'm going to test the display port as well, but not for a couple of minutes. So you can probably skip ahead about, probably about 10 minutes because I'm slow. You guys might recognize this. It's the Samsung 4K U, uh, U28D590D, something like that. Gonna change the input. I don't know if I got HDMI 1 or 2. Okay, it's HDMI 2. We're gonna do this. Oh, wait, can we? Yes. All right, let's test that now. Let's grab this, set up the shot. Shot is set up, start, take pictures. All right, that's 34 and 36. 53 and 53, looks like getting ready to be 54. 30 and the LCRT had already gone off. 40. Fifty-three and fifty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine and thirty-one. Thirty-six and thirty-eight. So, looks like the Samsung is about three frames behind on HDMI. Let's try DisplayPort. So, all I'm going to do, because I'm lazy, is going to unplug the DVI cable. Maybe. Hopefully. Without, <laughs> without letting the demons out of the Ark of the Covenant. Let's grab a display cable, shall we? From somewhere, maybe? Oh, I know where. Oops. 
change our input again. Okay, I did it. Oh my god, for a K! Um, I hate when Windows is like, let me help you with that. All right, so we're back to the same setup. Now this is DisplayPort. Let's get our camera set up. Make sure our focus is good. Start it. And it takes pictures. Like 42 and 44. And 51, 55, 53, 15, and I can't, I'll have to wait until it looks like 17. Oh, 04 and 07. Oh, so looks like it's about, it's maybe a little faster on the display port. But um, still, worst case scenario of about three frames a second. Which is surprising because this is a TN panel, and everyone's always like, TN panel, so much faster. The input lag test shows both the stopwatch and millisecond and the frame number from 0 to 59. LCD monitors are generally updated 60 times per second, which means that the accuracy is never better then 16.67 milliseconds. Take a photo with a short shutter time on both screens to evaluate this. If necessary, try to improve the response time by clicking on different gray level buttons. So that's gray to gray, really. Let's do... Gray to gray is really the uh, most optimal. Let's just do black and white just for giggles. Now, the important thing is what does this tell us for TN relative to IPS? Well, we're using our gold standard silicon graphics CRT side by side with this Samsung TN panel and side by side with the crossover 290M extra wide uh, IPS panel. And the IPS panel is faster than the TN panel relative to the fastest CRT. Now, does that tell us what the overall input latency is? No, but it tells us what the input latency differential is between the CRT, which is running at a certain speed, and the two LCDs that we've tested. So the IPS LCD is running about one frame per second ahead right now is what it looks like. I need to go back and evaluate the photos, but I thought that was interesting and probably worthy of further investigation.